Hey everyone, welcome to a quick tour through the latest UGEM release, Virtual Pianist Score. As the name suggests, this is a scoring-friendly piano, so there was a temptation to call it UGEM Score and put it next to strings and drums and brass. But with the ongoing Netflixization of pop music and this type of fluffy scoring piano increasingly becoming a staple in almost every genre out there, Eugen decided to rob me of my favorite running gag and instead make it part of the Virtual Pianist series. As such, the plugin has two primary elements. At its core, it's a super nice library of piano sounds, this time heavily leaning towards the darker side. Sure, among the characters there's a nice and clean Steinway variant, and even a somewhat bright, almost Italian-sounding offering. But the more scoring-friendly character is certainly this stark and smooth grand. Or this understated, slightly damned piano. An absolute favorite in current-day scores and pop music alike. Or if that's still not dark enough for your taste, try this character that sounds less like a grand but rather flirts with prepared piano territory. And speaking of prepared pianos, you can further prepare any of these characters with these rocket science finishers that don't just do effects but can fundamentally change the sound by introducing entirely different sample sets. The other element is what makes this plugin a virtual pianist. Maybe you're not a pianist yourself. It happens. Or you are in a hurry. It happens. Or you're just looking for something inspirational to get you out of the empty sequencer page territory. So switch from instrument to player mode and experiment with what I personally consider one of the smartest player engines out there. Whether you just press single keys or complex chords, it will always produce super musical results that go along with the score theme of the plugin. Floating. Melancholic. Slightly psychedelic. Or putting you on the dark side of the force. And if you use the more dramatic style variations and add some dynamic velocity and player business controls for good measure, you might even manage to muster up some attacking aliens. If you want a super detailed tour through all the functions of the Virtual Pianist series, I strongly recommend to check out the walkthroughs for Virtual Pianist Vogue and Vibe. They go super deep with a lot of talking and a lot of cats. But still, here's a quick rundown of the other nice details this series has to offer. You have this super fancy voicing mode button that lets you choose between universally applicable, intentionally complicated or simplified voicings. You have controls to limit dynamics and optionally detune the plugin, depending on whether you're playing along with the Vienna Philharmonic or my friend Klaus, who swears by sub 440 Hz tunings. You also get a collection of ambience effects that range from the useful to the outrageous. Especially if you combine the more complex modes with prepared piano modes from the finisher, this can lead to super interesting sounds. And you have this very natural sounding dark to bright control that does a lot more than simple EQing. So the idea is to not have too many controls, but have them all be nicely powerful. As always, UGEM invites you to check out the free demo that runs without any restrictions for an entire month. And that's UGEM's... I mean Virtual Pianist Score.